My name is Victor Fox, and Kassel from Placentia, and I'm a coral restoration practitioner with Fragments of Hope. And Fragments of Hope mission is to restore the critically endangered acoporids. That is the acoporid cerviconis and the acoporid palmata. The well, nurseries here of Turnips are project through MCAP. With the nurseries, they keep them away from a lot of algae and the fishes. They help us when we're not there to clean the nurseries so the coral have a better chance of surviving and they also have a better growth rate. Our executive director, Lisa Karn, she is the one that initiated this whole thing and she got most of her information from the local fishermen, the boat captains and the tour guides because they're the guys in the field and they would know where the healthy patches of coral would be. So from there, she got her information and went out to gather corals, and you get fragments, and then we make an 11 foot piece of rope, you like for it to fit on the table, and we just twist open the rope, insert a piece of coral, and we leave it there, attach it to the table to grow. Every about three to four months, we clean up the nurseries, and normally within a year, if it's a faster growing species, we can take the corals off the ropes, just fragment a piece. We leave the ropes with a piece on there so they can grow again. And we will outplant them using a mixture of Portland cement and water. Make a stiff mix, put it in a Ziploc bag. We put the at end of the bag like a cake decorating and we just squeeze it out under the water and leave it to get hard a bit before we put the corals in there. When the ropes get pretty old, they won't be able to hold the weight of the corals after they grow in the nurseries. So what we do is we take the entire rope, find a dead patch of reef, clean the dead patch so that when the corals set there, they can attach on quickly and secure the ropes with cement nails so corals have time to attach themselves to the reef. We provide jobs to local people and over time we got an experienced team that we can send out without uh, supervision to do some work. So that's the ultimate goal. <laughs> We also do outreach with our primary schools here, and we provide coloring books with different images on the reef, and so the kids can get a grass, and we have information on there, so the kids can learn more about marine life and get more interested about it. The most rewarding part of your job is going back to an area that was completely dead, and you get there and you're like, man, we did this, all these lives coral there now, it's so amazing. Like me growing up, thing that you used to always say, don't touch the corals or anything like that. And now growing up and seeing you're able to touch the corals and help them, it's amazing, you know, just beautiful. <laughs>